Hey Pokemon fans, Fargerman101 here, back with a ratings battle spot for matchup for you. Um, so today we are bringing Scrafty, Mega Metagross and Rosie our Roserade. Uh, and we are going, going up against Alder. So that name seemed familiar when I saw it on battle spot. I might be wrong, I think it's the name of a champion from Black and White. I kind of didn't pay too much attention to what was going on in the story of Black and White or Black and White 2. I just sort of charged through it so I could get my Pokemon transferred over from the older games onto X and Y at the time. So um, someone let me know in the comments section. I'm sure that's what where, where it's from. Um, he's bringing with him a massively powerful team. So we've got we're going up against uh, Entei, so one of the legendary dogs. Um, I get why most legendaries are banned on Battle Spot. I don't get why the dogs and Landrises and the birds are allowed because they're still OP. Massively, massive OP, and they're still classed as legendaries. So I don't see why they get that distinction. But uh, there we go. People use them, so it's it's just something we have to deal with, I suppose. Um, he's also bringing with him Conquador. Um, so Conquador, I've run in the past. Um, you've probably seen him in some of the videos. Can absolutely wreck shop, and he's probably guts boosted. Um, so that's scary. We really can't afford to let that thing get any guts boost off, which is why we didn't bring Battle Cat with us. Um, so I really didn't want to go for a Willow Wisp on something like the Gyarados and have the Conk switch into it. So. Uh, and then we're also seeing Gyarados, which is looking at the team lineup, he's going to be his Mega. Uh, Me mega Gyarados is really, really scary. Um, so we're going to jump straight into the matchup for you. Um, so Gyarados is going to open. Uh, we're going to open with Scrafty. Um, so I figured we'd go for a knockoff first turn just to see A, whether it was going to be his Mega or not to scout. Um, it's obviously, or if he was Rocky Helmet or Assault Vest or something, um, or even if he switched out like he does, so, which is great news for us. However, we are going to see Conk come through who resists this, um, but we'll be able to knock off and see what item he's holding. Um, so we're going to see that he's Life Orb, so at least, which we are as well, so we're going to at least see that we can, that, so we're going to bulk up right now. Um, I was partly expecting a Map Punch to come through, but he's just going to go straight up for a Drain Punch. Um, that's going to hurt quite a lot. And we store some of these hit points, so not the best of starts for us. Uh, we're going to go straight up for another Drain Punch on it. Uh, we're at plus one, although it is neutral. It's not going to do too much. Um, so we're in a bit of a situation here right now. We, I don't think we can KO it if we keep Drain Punching, but we need to sort of, don't want to switch any, definitely don't want to switch Metagross in. Uh, we live on two. We're definitely not living another one. Even a, plus, even a plus one drain punch on this thing, because Conk's got some natural bulk to it. So, probably should have switched that into Metagross, because it was neutral and we should have been out of bed and got a uh, Zen Headbutt off, which should have picked up the KO on this thing. But we are going to lose Scrafty, unfortunately, early on, which is never a good thing, because Scrafty can sometimes carry a whole team. And it would have been really nice to have him for the Entei. Uh, we're going to finally get Metagross out here. Uh, we're not going to Mega Evolve, I kind of expected him to switch into the Gyarados, and I didn't want to get the minus one um, attack drop, so um, Zen Headbutt would be enough to take him out though. And now we do see the Gyarados come through, um, so we are going, he's, going, not going to, he's going to Intimidate, but it's not going to affect us because we didn't Mega, so we keep our clear body. Uh, we're going to see Mega Gyarados come through. Um, haven't really got many options right now. We kind of don't want to switch out, so uh, we're going to Mega Evolve. I'm not sure what he's going to go for. He might go for a Dragon Dance, so I kind of didn't want him to get a free one of those off, but he does opt to go for a Crunch. But we are going to just live on 23. Um, we're going to go for a Zen Head, but of, but of course I forgot it was Dark Typing like an idiot. For some reason, I always think it is a. Um, and we can see Meteor Mash, uh, Bullet Punch come through it, it's not going to do too much. So, I for some reason I always think Mega Gyarados is, part, is flying Dragon and it's not, it's flying Dark. So that's why I went for the Zen Head, but, but lesson learnt for next time. Next time, just Meteor Mash the thing. Uh, we're going to get a Giga Drain off though, that's going to do a good amount um, due to the Water Typing. Uh, we are going to see Ice Fang come through, that's going to put Rosie in a bit of a bad state. She's going to... Just live on nine, so we really should have brought Rosie in early on on this thing. Um, 
Giga Drain's going to come through and gain some energy back, but obviously his last mon is going to be the Entei, and unfortunately, I don't think there's anything Rosie can do to deal with that. Uh, we're going to X-Speed and get a Sludge Bomb off. It is neutral. Uh, and she does manage to snag the poison, but unfortunately for us, it's not going to be much else we can do. Um, a Sacred Fire is going to connect. And even with Assault Vest, and, uh, Assault Vest we're not leaving that. Um, so we're going to pick up the loss there. Um, one misplay against the... Uh, well, a couple of misplays. One really should have gone straight into Metagross as soon as Conk put in an appearance uh, and just Zen headbutted it straight off the bat and took that out. Then we'd have at least still had to Scrafty to possibly fake it and Drain Punch Array on the Entai. Uh, and then going for a Zen headbutt on the Mega Gyarados as well was not the cleverest play, but lesson learned for next time. Uh, if you enjoyed that, guys, please leave a like rating down below or, a, or even a comment if you've got any advice or tips for me down there. That'd be brilliant. Um... I always try to reply to them if I can as well. So um, take care out there, guys. And if I don't see you around, I will see you on Battlespot. Bye.